This is a little project I did a couple weeks ago. Well, I finished it a couple weeks ago, but uh, actually had it in the works for a couple years. But uh, what it is is a, a tripod. It's a, and it's not just any tripod. It's a really heavy duty tripod. What this is is uh, I got some. Went down to the local scrap yard and got some half-inch plate here. Uh, the the shape you don't obviously you don't if it's not already obvious to you uh, you don't need a piece that's shaped like this. This is just the piece that they had that you know it, it's easier to measure. It's easy to measure you know where I wanted the uh, legs, but you know. The commercial ones that I've seen that aren't anywhere near as heavy as this, they they just have like a circle for the center piece. And uh, I welded on some legs. I did that with uh, 7018. I wanted to make sure it was really strong. I don't want this thing falling on my head, which is a real possibility. Uh, and probably the hardest part was drilling this hole for the for the chain hoist and this is the hoist over here if you didn't already know that uh, I got it at a tool sale it's just a real cheap Chinese piece of junk uh, rated for a ton supposedly probably won't ever be able to lift that but it was straining to pick up a tree I had over there uh, I'll tell you more about that in a minute anyway then uh, I got this it's this lifting eye it's rated for uh, 2200 pounds or 1.1 tons and uh, rated more than the the hoist of course and uh, that just threads into this hole and it hangs from there this is upside down, of course. The legs go in these three uh, pipes here that I welded on. I, I cut them at about a 30 degree angle. And, uh, and it's, it's I, I forgot what measurement this is, but it's just over the size of a, a fence top rail. Uh, I had a bunch of fence top rails just laying around here from a fence I did. And uh, so this was a good way to use them, I guess, or three of them anyway. So uh, those form the legs. And uh, in a pinch, you can... Now why the heck did my screen just jumped? What the heck does that mean? All right, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Apple is uh, messing with my head, apparently. Anyway, what was I saying? The uh, oh, you can you can put another one on the end of uh, of these because they're like the one that end up there. You can't really see it, but uh, here I'll show you the. Uh, the end here is like crimped, so they'll fit one into the next. So you can, if you don't have enough height, you can put another extra one on and uh, on the bottom of each one, and you can get double the height. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty flimsy stuff, and. Uh, I don't know if I would recommend, you know, lifting like a full ton with uh, with two of these, uh, one, you know, on top of the other. It could get kind of flimsy, but, uh, you know, with, with just the one, I was able to pick up that tree over there, that felled tree, the bigger one, not the smaller one, and... Uh, that's, it's quite a bit, uh, you know, it's at least uh, 20 inches at the base, so it's it's no no flyweight, uh, you know, it's at least, 
at least a thousand pounds, I, I imagine. And I was, I stood on top of it and was jumping up and down on it. And, and it, it didn't, uh, it didn't break a sweat. So it worked out pretty good. And, uh, yeah, the, the other guy has some, some good videos on how to do the 7018 in there, you know. I did a couple passes because I wanted to make sure it was nice and strong, you know. At least the wall thickness of the tubing, anyway, to tie it into the plate. And so, uh, what I was originally building this for was to lift a well pump, so like a, a pump puller, because we had a well pump go out and... Uh, and uh, that uh, we ended up having to call the the well guy anyway because I was sick and and stuff. So, uh, but eventually I did finally finish it. So if it ever goes out again, I could just pull it out with this. And uh, it's a lot better than it's it's more like a real well truck type setup than a than like some of the pump pullers I've seen that like bolt on to the to the casing it's like a winch type of deal but this this is this you'll you know you can get over the well and you can pull up like a hole on our well we got like 40 foot sections of pipe so I mean you can you can get up there pretty high with this thing if you if you put a couple sections on there and uh Unless your well is like thousands of feet deep, you're not going to be anywhere near a ton. So, I mean, this 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 will probably pull up to like I don't know. I'd say well, it depends on your 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 downpipe too. This the how heavy your pipe is, but I would say you know this is guaranteed to pull up at least a 500 foot well. I mean, unless you're like you have some kind of eight inch or ten inch monster but uh you know for a home you know this'll do it uh what else uh I don't know that's about it that's all I can think of uh yeah you can you can lift engines out of cars with this you can lift uh I mean anything whatever you want to lift uh I got a big motor over here. That's another reason I had to pull that off of a trailer. Another reason I wanted to build this. Uh, I had to do that with, uh, you know, before I got this built. So that was a pain in the butt. Let me tell you, that thing is a monster. And, uh, you know, it would have been a whole lot easier with this. Uh... Yeah, so, and you could build it up, too. I mean, you know, you're not just limited to to one ton. I mean, you could you could go all out, you know, put a one-inch plate on there with gussets, and, uh, you know, you could lift, like, a, a semi-truck with it if you want, if if you found a big enough winch or, or you know, some kind of a... Uh, what do they call those things with all the pulleys on them? I don't know, I forget. But, uh, you know, anything, you know, you could, yeah, then they, then you could lift like a thousand, three thousand feet of well pipe, or, or you could pull the whole casing right out of the ground. But, uh, yeah, the only, the only thing I would recommend is, you know, if you're on like concrete, you're you're probably going to be fine with the legs but when you get over over uh over dirt, you know, just plain ground, you're uh you're going to have to build like uh foot pieces to go on the bottom here. And uh, I haven't done that yet. I probably will. Uh maybe I'll post an update or something, but uh just, uh, I was thinking just like a little short piece of pipe, just about maybe half inch or quarter inch, just enough to keep the pipe or the 
uh, fence rail from slipping uh, and then like take that little short piece of pipe and weld it onto like a, a four or a six by six piece of plate just to keep the pipe from sinking into the ground because when I lifted that tree over there the the uh, and I went and called it a pipe again the uh, fence rail or whatever you use for legs I mean you could use regular regular pipe for legs and it'd probably work better but uh, these were yeah when I went to lift that tree it was sinking into the ground real bad so it needs some kind of a foot support if you're if you're over just plain you know ground and you'll probably run into that if you try to pull a well pump because usually your well is out you know in the middle of the yard or something but uh, yeah I guess that I guess that pretty much covers it what do you think boxy you think that covers it does that cover it what do you think what do you think about that, huh? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you bugging me, huh? Why are you bugging me? What's your problem? He's uh, he's upset because I got the garage open. He wants to go go to bed. So uh, yeah, <sighs> there's the. Uh, XMT3, yeah, I, I, it was a 304, but I upgraded to the, uh, to the 3, uh, 340, 350, uh, yeah, I think it's a 350, uh, it's supposed to run on three phase, uh, but I haven't run into a problem with it yet, but, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go and, uh, try to run it at full current with it like this because uh, the capacitors are going to be underrated for uh, the main filter caps are going to be underrated because with three phase because of the way it works you get a you get more uh, peaks on your uh, input power so you don't need as big of a capacitor but that would be the only problem I foresee with the setup like this, either that or you might you might blow up the input diodes because uh, with three phase there's less you know you have three phases instead of just one, so you're 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 balancing your load across six diodes, and with it this way you're only using four of them, so you might blow your diodes, but I doubt that because they're pretty overrated as it is but uh, yeah and then just the uh, S22A feeder I've always had actually the I don't know anyway uh, I won't say anything about the guy I got this from but uh, you know we've uh, gone back and uh, traded uh, back and forth a little bit and uh, he's made some money off of it and so he gave me a nicer unit here and uh, except for the feeder that the feeder I had before was a little newer and a little nicer but I'm not complaining you know uh, get a better uh, power supply out of it anyway yep uh, what else? Oh yeah, there's the anvil. I do recommend one of these, you know, for metal working. If you can afford it, they want to gouge you for these. These, uh, you know, they don't make a whole lot of these anymore. Uh, I don't know why. They're very useful, but, you know, if you want to buy a new one, it's like $700. This is just a small one, though. This is the smallest one I, I've ever seen, actually. So I got a pretty good deal on this at uh, the old engine show. And uh, I haven't broke it yet. <laughs> I'd like to see the hammer that could break uh, break it. It's a pretty big... Uh, it'd be a pretty big hammer. And, uh, yeah, so, anyway, there's my... 
Stupid muffler fell off my car again. When my plasma cutter is not working, you'll see more about that in another video. Piece of junk Chinese. Ah. Anyway, it's uh, for another time. Did I forget anything? Uh, what did I forget? I did. I was gonna tell you. Oh yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. That's. Uh, it's a wrap. So that's a wrap.